Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Johnson, and I'd like to start my presentation off with a short video that can show you a little bit more about who and what Playing for Change is all about. So check out the video, and I'll be back in a few minutes to tell you more. I've got dreams. I was going to the recording studio and I saw this one musician and I just thought, wow, this guy's unbelievable. All of a sudden I just had this epiphany. The best music I ever heard in my life is on the way to the studio and not in the studio. And that's when I sort of had the idea for Playing for Change, which was to bring the studio to the people. What amazing stories. Grandpa Elliot, he's been a street musician in New Orleans performing for about 60 years. I, I just was in love with him. I just thought his whole energy was the best. It had a lot more depth. It wasn't just entertainment. All my life, I've been putting out love. And then I wanted to make it more special than just individual performances. So have musicians from different locations play on the same songs. Stand By Me, I recorded and filmed in about 10 different countries. 60 million people watching that has an impact. It's a global project reaching a global audience with no filter. That's playing for change to YouTube, to the audience. So when we were recording Stand By Me, we drove out from Cape Town through all the shacks into Gugaletu Township, one of the saddest places I'd ever seen. It just had so much despair. The next thing I know, they set up and they perform this music in the backyard and the women and the little kids come out and they're singing and dancing. And you see this celebration, you know? This is the most powerful thing I'd ever seen. It went from so sad to so happy and the only thing that changed was the music. So that is the exact same spot of the first Playing for Change music school. Each of our music schools are designed by the community and they're owned and operated by the community. I'm going for the first time to see the school. It's a dream that come true. So it's really just about creating opportunities where there aren't any. We had the idea to do a fundraiser for the very first Playing for Change music school. So we assembled a lot of the different musicians we'd met, some of the best musicians from all over the world, brought them together, and that became the beginning of the Playing for Change band. They've now toured the world for five years. It's been able to build where a lot of people want to be involved and be a part of it. Keith Richards, Robert Plant, Bono. On our newest album, we have Sarah Bareilles. I think that's the great thing about Playing for Change is that it never ends because there's always more songs to record. There's always more musicians to connect. And there's always more schools to build. They all work together for the same picture, which is really connect the world through music. Thank you so much. So Playing for Change was born out of the idea that we can make a much better world if we all work together, and that no matter how many things in life divide us, they're never going to be as strong as the power of music to bring us together. In fact, I remember the words of our Playing for Change producer and mentor, Mr. Norman Lear, when he told us there's three things in life that remind us that we're all connected. Music, laughter, and transcendence. The idea of being a part of something bigger than yourself. Playing for change has all three. When we first started the idea to travel the world and connect musicians, we knew we needed to find the right song with the right message and the right performer. I was walking down the street in Santa Monica, California, and I heard the voice of a street musician named Roger Ridley. 
he was singing the song, Stand By Me. Roger had so much soul, so much conviction in his voice. So I approached him and I said, hey, if I come back with some recording equipment and cameras, I want to record you and film you playing Stand By Me. We're going to travel around the world, put headphones on musicians and add them to the same song. He looked at me like I was crazy, but he said, hey, if you come back, I'll play the song. So when I came back, I remember saying, hey, Roger, with a voice like yours, why are you singing on the street? He said, man, I'm in the joy business. I come out to bring joy to the people. Ever since that day, we've been traveling the world, connecting hearts, building a family, all through the joy business. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and, you know, the joy business is something that really gave, gave us an opportunity because of Roger having so much soul and, and, and coming out there with his intentions to just connect people. So we travel around the world, we record and we film musicians, and that's our chance to show up, to meet the people, to look in their eyes, to talk to them about how, how do they create their identity, what role does music play in their society. Uh, since we started, our songs around the world have been viewed over 300 million times in 195 countries. That is the catalyst, the spark that became the Playing for Change movement. But the true measure of any movement is what does it give back to the people? So we created the Playing for Change Foundation to build music and art schools for children all over the world and then to connect them all together. We currently support 11 music programs in nine countries, and this is just the beginning. We also assembled some of the greatest musicians we met throughout our travels, and we created the Playing for Change Band. They become the Playing for Change ambassadors. They're the tangible example, right in front of you, live on a stage. What happens when all these different cultures come together to create something bigger than themselves? to show you how our differences can become our strengths. The Playing for Change Band also traveled to children's hospitals and schools and homeless shelters to remind us that music is about so much more than just entertainment. In fact, in order to give back to all the people that had supported us, we created Playing for Change Day, which is a global day of celebration. It's the third Saturday of every September. And last year, we had over 400 concerts in 45 countries, all on the same day, all for music education, for both local and global education. Each event was inspired to keep half of the money for a local music program and to give the other half to people that they may never see, because that's how you become part of transcendence. All of this is about where are we going now with Playing for Change? What are our goals? We want to double the amount of concerts we play every year from 100 to 200, so that we can hit more communities and let everybody know about what the Playing for Change message is. We want to continue to build more music programs, support more schools around the world. We also want to continue to discover more music, create more songs around the world, so that everybody can see all the things that divide us coming together and inspiring us. All these different cultures and styles and races, religions, political views. When it's in music, we're all connected. And we also want to find more partnerships so that we can continue to grow the Playing for Change project. And I just wanted to say that every concert we play, every school we build, and every song we create is to change the world for good. Now I'd like to introduce to the stage for one final song, a Playing for Change musician from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Mermins Mosengo. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you. Last question. Who here wants to join us in the joy business? Thank you so much for including us in the Social Innovation Summit. Take it away, Mermans. Yeah, if you want to be in the joy business, then join me in this song. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Sing along, one love, one God. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, 
and I will feel alright. Saying, let's pray together and feel alright. Oh, 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 let them all past off the get you remarks on love. There is one question I'd really love to ask. Is there a place for those hopeless sinners who has hurt all mankind just to save his own? Believe me, one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel alright. One love, one heart. Thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel alright. Saying, let's get together and feel alright. One more thing. Let's get together to fight this holy Armageddon. So when heaven comes, there will be no no doom. And pity on those. Ocean seas grow thinner. There is no world in place from the founder of creation. Saying, one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel alright. One love, one heart. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel alright. Saying, let's get together and feel alright. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.